What's going on, Fight Fans? Today we're going to be talking about GSP, the same GSP who vacated the Welterweight Championship and left it in the hands of Johnny Hendricks, who also lost the belt to Robbie Lawler. And most fans would say that Robbie Lawler actually won that first fight, but the second and third fight between those two basically sealed the deal and put everybody in a know of who was really going to have the handle of that belt. Don't get me wrong, but nobody's waiting to see a Johnny Hendricks versus Robbie Lawler 4 yet. And he might get up there someday, but right now MMA fans are just not willing or waiting to see Johnny Hendricks fight for very specific reasons. But that still leaves Carlos Condit, Damian Maya, Matt Brown, Tyrone Woodley, and even Rory McDonald still in the picture. And these are the type of people that GSP is going to be coming back to after a two year break. Can't discount fighters like these in the welterweight division because all these guys are complete warriors. They are total killers in this division and probably would do well in many other divisions. It would be almost irresponsible for the UFC or MMA fans to ask GSP to come back and fight Robbie Lawler for his belt after a two year break like that because nobody knows what GSP is gonna come back with, what type of skills he hasn't worked on, what even what type of shape he's been in. Even great champions like GSP are gonna have a little bit of ring rust that are basically going to make the fight way more lackluster than most people would actually think that it's supposed to be. And when something like that happens, not only does it devalue that champion, but then it also makes for a very boring, very terrible fight that most other fans do not want to see again. So it would be in the best interest for the UFC to actually give GSP a tuna fight, but nowhere out of the top five because that would be devaluing their own champion. From what it looks like, it looks like Carlos Condit is already up. Tyrone Woodley is going up next. He's not going to fight Rory McDonald, who is his protege. Damian Maya, he's pretty much already beat. No one wants to see him fight Johnny Hendricks right now, so that really leaves Matt Brown. Matt Brown is a type of fighter that is kind of complimentary to anybody, even a champion. Matt Brown is probably a fighter who could possibly be a champion himself if it wasn't for two small hiccups called Johnny Hendricks and Robbie Lawler, two guys who have held the welterweight belt. Seriously, prior to those two fights, Matt Brown was on a seven fight win streak stretching all the way back to 2012. So it really can't be out of the realm of viability here because GSP would come back to fight somebody who's been in the title eliminator fight. But even still with all of this going on, this is just a speculation since GSP is just teasing that he's coming back. It's almost as if he's taking the page out of Fedor's playbook and now he's playing Fedor games with us and a lot of fans really don't like Fedor games. No one really knows when he's going to come back, who he's going to fight, and this just seems to be the type of situation that we're all locked in here. And also, to toss on the temporal hat here, GSP is itching to make a return. John Jones is now set to basically come back to the UFC, and right around the corner is Madison Square Garden. We're not super geniuses, but the UFC, they have got to be thinking that, hey, we can put both GSP and John Jones on the same pay-per-view at Madison Square Garden and generate this completely out of the atmosphere pay-per-view numbers here. So it's definitely just one of those things to think about as you know we continue moving forward with this GSP situation of where he fits into the welterweight picture when and if he actually really does come back. So fight fans out there, give us your thoughts, give us your opinions, tell us what you think about this whole GSP situation and hit us with your comments. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe as we bring you more MMA Hype Watch Vodcast.